The remarkable thing about the Higgs is this. When we try to give these particles masses in our mathematical equations, the fact that the particles have different masses, different from zero, in fact, would spoil the symmetry. You could no longer interchange the terms in a way that we could when the particles have zero mass, the same mass. That would disrupt the symmetry in a very pronounced way. What the Higgs does is it allows us to give mass to these particles in an indirect way, not by brute force terms in the equations, but rather how the particles respond to the environment, to this molasses-like bath. That way of giving masses, it turns out, preserves the symmetry in the equations and yet allows the particles to have all different masses. That's where the Higgs really shines, allows particles to have different masses without spoiling in any really major way the underlying symmetry.